somebody who knew what they were doing, they could feel a lot of pain. So the reality is, we're bringing it back sort of old school. We're going back to the days when you respected the person you were in the ring with. You didn't have to like him. You know, I'll give you a prime example. I don't like Scott Summers. I don't like him at all. Okay? But the reality is, I respect him. He goes in there, he works hard, he hits people, he spends the time, he does his job, and he gets in there and he does it right. Do I think I can beat him? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, he goes in there and there's respect. And that's what this business is lacking. This business doesn't have it anymore. That's where the takeover is. Ultimately, our, what we are is the takeover. That is us. We can be the lords of wrestling. We can be the, the gods of San Antonio. It doesn't matter what you want to call us. At the end of the day, we are taking over anywhere we go. If we got to go down to Houston and bust on some piece of shit promotion, we'll do that. If they want to come in here, they want to talk crap to us, they want to sit there and think that they're hard, and then run away like little bitches, that's what happens. Because at the end of the day, the takeover, the three biggest men around, the three baddest men around, as a group, single, tag, this Molly will beat you down, it doesn't matter who you are. We're demanding respect, and at the end of the day, that's what you're going to do, is respect us. Point blank. I'm pretty sure Mr. Claxton has something to say. What happened tonight, not with us, but down in the ring just now is perfect a perfect example of what they're talking about, the lack of respect. Some little jackass poured a beer on one of the wrestlers. He'll never do it to one of us because he knows he'll get his fucking ass with him. One of the smaller guys, but that's what we're saying. Don't come in here at 115 pounds and act like fucking you're somebody because you can do some flippity do shit. We ain't about that. We can legitimately whip your ass. We followed that motherfucker out of the parking lot. He took off, tucked out and run because he was legitimately going to get his ass whipped. We say it all the time. It's not a work. It ain't bullshit to us. It's fucking real. You think we're fucking bullshitting? Try us. We will whip your ass. I'm glad you can do all that flippity hoo ha shit you do. I'll still knock your fucking head off your shoulders. <laughs> they don't make a shit to me. Great. I mean, I probably could too if I weighed 115 pounds. But I don't need to, because I can whip your ass. That's it. That's all I got. That's what it comes down to. Being ready to do what needs to be done. All of these fans that I used to be part of, I used to be in the crowd at ACW, and they're like, what's she doing out there? It's because I was willing to step up and do something when something needed to be done. Referee wasn't doing his job. There was running in a match. It was ridiculous. I was tired of it. I was tired of just seeing the fans stand by and say, oh, we just expect that kind of stuff. I don't expect that kind of stuff. I don't expect people sneaking up behind other people, get in the ring, face us, face us one-on-one, -on -one. face me one-on-one, -on -one. face any of these guys one-on-one. -on -one. These guys that showed up tonight to wrestle you guys, new to ACW, we'd never seen them. They had no idea what they were stepping into. You step into ACW, you better have respect for real wrestlers or you will get your head knocked off like those guys that we wrestled tonight. Nobody's running out on us. Not one person wants to walk in the ring with us. They don't want to step in there. Hell, they don't even want to be announced. We saw the kid come out tonight, he didn't even want to get in the ring. 
Can you wait until his buddies got in there? Yeah, they flippity jumpy. And you know what? The best flip of the night was when I ripped his fucking head off with a clothesline. So guess what? He did flip inside out. He did flip inside out, yeah. Yeah, he did. Nice. And, and you know what? The thing is, I was in a good mood. Not, even my friends, my buddies, my family here, they thought I was in a bad mood. Wait. I thought I was in a bad mood. Wait. <laughs> Just want to talk about demand and respect. Watch. I thought that was a real fun match. <laughs> what it's going to boil down to, this is not a hobby. This is a love and a respect. This is a job. This is how I provide and feed my children. This is how these gentlemen, this gorgeous lady, provide and feed their family. Don't get in the ring if you're 120 pounds and you don't work out. Because you're, you're not only are you disrespecting the business, but you're taking away a good payday to somebody that's willing, dying for the exposure and the opportunity to step in the ring and at least hit us back just as hard as we hit them. And maybe they can get a respect in due time. But other people want it, so don't get in the fucking ring with us unless you want it. If you want to make a name for yourself, and you're going to fucking come with 110% because what it's going to boil down to is TakeOver stands for one thing. For real. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is your show. You've asked us one question. I think y'all said it all. I think I don't got to ask y'all a single other question, period. I think y'all said it all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Call the takeover corner this time. Takeover corner. Takeover corner. We'll be running the show from now on. Yeah.